us as spiritual students, as we grow, what we want to do is we want to listen more to our heart. That's another way of saying trusting the still small voice within, trusting the voice of God, the voice of spirit, the voice of that infinite knowing that is within us, that we want to listen more and more and more to that as we continue to grow and evolve spiritually. Because what I come to understand is that the more I do that, the better off I am. You know, that, that when I listen to what I'm calling my heart this morning, when I listen to that, I'm never wrong. I never do the wrong thing. I never say, oh, I shouldn't have listened to my heart. I should have listened to my head. People talk about the difference between listening to their head and listening to their heart, and I think we all have some sense of, of what that is. But when I listen to my head, you know, it's that, that logical, linear part of my mind that so often wants to talk me out of doing the right thing is what it does, I think, you know? In A Course in Miracles, it talks about the voice of the ego, the small separate self, always speaks first and it speaks loudest, you know? So, you know, the voice of God within us, the still small voice, the voice of our heart, doesn't like barrel down the door and say, hey, listen to me. I'm the voice of love and spirit and truth within you. It's very quiet. This is sort of like, okay, after you've listened to all that other stuff, all of that other ruckus, now just be still for a minute and check in. What else is there? See, this, I think this is part of the mystery of God. And I think that God largely is a mystery because that which is infinite is not fully knowable to us here in, in Humanville. Right? We're not going to understand everything about something that's infinite. And yet it is ours to try and learn how to be in relationship with the infinite, to try and be in a healthy, loving, empowered relationship with this power that creates the universe out of itself, of which we are all a part.